Hey fellas, how you doing out there? So I got a pretty good question that isn't really too gaming centered and I kind of like that. And the question is, Craig, I noticed that you are the community manager of Online Key Store. That I am. A community manager is also known as a social media manager, kind of the same thing. And um, the rest of the question is, I was hoping you could help me understand social media more. Facebook isn't doing good and Twitter seems to net me more interaction. Any tips? Yeah, sure. Uh, so Facebook isn't doing anybody any good. Facebook is a model that is built on pay, 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 pay. You can be naughty dog and you can have 20 million likes, but when you post something, they're only going to reach about uh, an eighth of the people that actually liked your page. Unless, of course, these people are liking every post you put out or they're commenting every post you put out. And sometimes people just don't do that. Uh, that's why you see if you actually use Facebook and you like a lot of pages, you won't see their stuff pop up in your Facebook feed because that's the way that Facebook is skewing it. Unfortunately, it's just there so they can make money because they ended in the stock market. It's all about advertising revenue. And that's it. Personally, I suggest that you never put any weight on Facebook. I think Facebook is a terrible way to try to get your stuff out there. I really just say hell no. The one good thing about Facebook, though, that is good is going to Facebook groups, if you know what that is, and actually posting whatever it is you're trying to show people uh, that's relative to whatever you're showing people. I don't know, like um, for online key store, I'd go to a PC Facebook group or I go to an Xbox One Facebook group and I'd put in you know, the products that I think people would be interested in that would have value to it. And I'll get more into that in a minute. <clears throat> Uh, Twitter. Twitter is a godsend. Twitter is absolutely amazing. I suggest you put all your effort into marketing on Twitter, at least right now. They are skewing results, but it's not so much to where it's like Facebook. Thank God. Twitter is a dead post in about 20 minutes. About 40 minutes is probably a dead post. So you need to make your posts count. And how do you do that? Honestly, I really think that for one, your post must have value. It must mean something. You know, not just, I'm going to bed now. Good night. Um, you know, if you're going to try to make money doing this, then your posts need to be targeted, for one. Uh, so what's a good example? The new Tomb Raider Rise of the Tomb Raider Tomb Raider Tomb Raider, which is on Xbox One, which is down below in the description, by the way, is 42% off on Xbox One. That's right. Go ahead and click on that if you want to actually buy that piece of, I mean, that great game. And, um... Uh, this is an example of value. See, there's a valuable thing. You can get Tomb Raider, the new one, 42% off from online key store. Now, who is interested in that? Xbox One owners. That's it. That's who's interested in it. And why does it have value? Because it's so cheap. Because it's such a good sale. So when I want to put something out on social for online key store, I need to say, okay, who is my target audience? What are the words I'm going to use? Where will I find these people? So I will put down... Get Tomb Raider, Rise of the Tomb Raider, 42% off at online key store for Xbox One. Then I'll put a link to it. And then if I have time and I'm thinking correctly, I will put hashtag Xbox One, hashtag Xbox, and maybe hashtag, uh, what else would I use for that? I don't want to use Microsoft. I would think that I would use um, gaming, hashtag gaming probably. So hashtag Xbox One, hashtag Xbox and gaming. And by using Tomb Raider, Rise of Tomb Raider and Xbox without the hashtag in the actual title, those are all great keywords. Uh, when someone clicks on a hashtag about Xbox One from some other tweet, mine might show up there. And the tweets, they have to get interaction too. Uh, there's another, there's a website, I think it's called Traff Up, T-R-A-F-F-U-P. That if you want to dominate a hashtag, you use Traff Up and you're able to get, you know, free retweets and free favorites to get the interaction to show up real high in that um, hashtag. It's a pain in the ass to do this way. And you only want to do this if you really care about what you're doing. There's other ways of doing the same thing by having a glean contest and letting people retweet that tweet and all the other things. But you don't have to do all that. Uh, mainly if you're just looking to get it out there to some fresh people that are brand new. This is a good thing because you can't think like, okay, I want this one post and I want this one post to reach 18,000 million people. What you need to do is you need to think a little bit smaller. 
uh, always start small. So by putting in that Xbox One, all these hashtags, all these other things, there is probably somebody out there that doesn't know about this deal at all. They will find it, and if they want to buy it so badly, they will, and they'll save themselves a lot of money. Now, this makes somebody what? A return customer. As that, That's what it does. So we're just opening up, even if you get one person from that post, that is one person that may come back and buy again, and they'll save themselves more money, and they might make it a habit. And it happens a lot, especially with CD key websites. Uh, online key store has a lot of good prices on a lot of good games. Uh, it's got a lot of competition going for it. So I just try to go on the website as a consumer, and I think to myself, what is the most valuable thing here? What would a cheap person that would shop at a CD key website do? What would he, you know, what would he buy? And so I often ask myself these questions, and I often find really good prices uh, on the website and just try to push it and push it and push it. Um, I was shocked. I think when I first started, I was able to sell the hell out of Resident Evil 6 on online key store. And Resident Evil 6, I'm sorry, it's, uh, it kind of sucks, especially for Resident Evil. Resident Evil 6 was a big letdown, but it was a good, cheap price, and people may have owned it on PlayStation 3, they may have owned it on Xbox 360, but now they're on PC, so they go, okay, this is a pretty cheap price. It's like 80% 80, 80 off. I'll go ahead and get it. So that's value to them. And that's, you know, people are ready to pay that little small price to get Resident Evil 6 again. Maybe just to see it nostalgically or whatever it is. Uh, so once again, it's really all about offering value. And that's up to the product that you're selling. Or if you're looking to just boost your videos out there, that's a whole other thing entirely. And again, you're going to find the people that care about what you are talking about. So if I make this post on social, uh, since I'm talking about Twitter and Facebook and social media, the things that I would use would be Twitter, Facebook, and social media. And I'd hashtag those three, leave a link to it. I put a nice, vibrant image that's going to stick out from the rest of the damn images on Twitter and post it. As for my Facebook, I had that automated. <laughs> my Facebook has like 17 likes on it. And... uh I don't care the thing falls off the face of the earth. I really have no respect for Facebook. I just have it on it because people are like, where's your Facebook, Craig? It's like right there, go ahead and get to the Facebook. I just don't give a shit about Facebook. So in order, I just automated it. So that way I don't even have to look at it. I don't even have to go to it. It's nice. I don't have to deal with it at all. It's great. And that's only through Curse Network that I got that, uh, that perk. So that's pretty neat. Uh, that's a good question. I enjoy talking about that. It really beats all the gaming stuff. Uh, social media is in a, it's a live, it's a beast and you just got to know where to find it, where to find the people that you're looking for and all that clutter and you need to be targeted. And I don't give a shit if your post only reaches 80 people, those 80 people are better than 80,000 people that will see it and not think much of it. Always target it really, really, really targeted. Um, besides the Facebook groups, which is already targeted anyway, because people join it for that reason. So, <clears throat> okay. Uh, great question. You guys want to ask me a question again? It's uh, my asset of which is down in the link below in the description, right below the Tomb Raider Rise of Tomb Raider 42% off Tomb Raider Tomb Raider Tomb Raider. Bye bye. Take care. I'll see you later.